Hello friends, this video pair of linear equations in two variables part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched videos part 1 to part 17. For more example, two men and five, two women and five men can together finish work in four days. Three men, women and six men can finish it in three days. Find time taken by one man alone and also by one man. Let's write whatever is written here. Two women and five men, they take four days. Also, three women, six men, they take three days. We have to find time taken by one man to finish the work. So let's assume, let's assume that this man does x unit of work per day x unit of work per day let's assume this woman does x unit per day because woman was first and man does y unit per day right that is unit per day unit work per day this guy is doing x unit work per day this lady and this guy is doing y unit per day now since they are taking 4 and 3 days, I can, I, I can assume that total work is W, big W, total work, total work is big W, I can take any value in this. The best way to solve these questions is, you can take the W to be LCM of these values. I will tell you why, because if you take the LCM of these values, it cuts. I will tell you why first. See, if this guy is, uh, the woman is doing x unit of work per day and the man is doing y unit of work per day, since the woman is taking, there are two women. So per day, work done by women is 2x because there are two women and per day work done by men is 5y because there are five men in first case. This is per day work and they are taking four days. This is total work done, this is nothing but double. In second case, per day work done by women is 3x, why? Because there are 3 women. Per day work done by men is 6y, why? Because there are 6 women. And the total time taken is 3 days. This is total work. I can take W as to be any value. Right? Doesn't matter. To simplify my question, what I'll do? I'll take W to be LCM of this because whatever number I take, this will cut. This will divide by 4, this will divide by 3. So I'll take W to be 12, thus for my convenience. I can take 24 also. I can take any value, but if I take 12, 24, anything that divides both 4 and 3, that is easy for me because this will divide and I'll get a simpler equation. So I'll take it 20, 12. And here also I'll take 12. So the equation I get is, because this 4 is gone now, and 3 is again here cut. So what I'll get? 2x plus 5y is equal to 3, that is first equation and 3x plus 6y is equal to 4 is second equation. Now let's solve it. So let me divide, multiply this whole thing by 3 and this by 2 because in this case both will have 6x, it will get cancelled. So I will get 6x plus 15y is equal to 9 and here I will get 6x plus 12y is equal to 8. Correct? x is cancelled, I will get 3y is equal to 1 or I will get y is equal to 1 by 3. If I put y in any equation, I will put, let's put y, I will put in this equation, I will get 3x plus 6 into y, y is 1 by 3 is equal to 4, right? Or I will get x is nothing but 4 minus, this becomes 2 by 3, right? Is equal to 2 by 3. So I have got x is equal to 2 by 3. So I have got the value of x and I got the value of y. That means I have got the per unit, per unit work done per day by men and women. Correct. Now the question asks is how many days have one woman take alone to finish the work? So let's suppose it takes n days. So n days into for women the per day work is 2 by 3. Correct. So, n into 2 by 3 is equal to total work is 12, we have assumed. 
even if you don't does it, if you put W, it will solve. You will get the answer. But just to make our life simple, I am have taken here, right? So this becomes R and will come out to be twelve into three by two. That is eighteen. Second case for men per unit work is one by three. So n to one by three is equal to twelve, or n is equal to thirty-six. So men will take thirty-six days to finish the work alone, and women will take eighteen days to finish the work alone. Very simple. What we have done? Just try to understand. We have assumed unit work per day done by men and women to be x and y. Please note it is unit work per day to be x and y. So there are two women, so two x per day work done by women. There are five men, so five y work per day by men. Total work per day is two x plus five y. Total work in four days because four is it to is equal to w. Similarly, in this case, three x plus six y into three is equal to w. I assume w to be twelve just to make my life simple. Even if I keep w, it will work. I tip w to be twelve because that divides both four and three. So I got two equations, very simple equations, and I got x to be two by three and y to be one by three. That means women is doing two by three unit of work per day, and men is doing one by three unit of work per day. Assuming total work is twelve units. Assuming total work is twelve units, right? You see here also it's units. This is work per day in units by day. This is unit. This is unit. Everything is unit. So you got x is equal to one by three units work per day, and uh, x is equal to two by three unit work per day, and y is equal to one by three unit work per day. So now is per day. So we have multiply with n, right? N into two by three is equal to twelve. Total work is twelve. N came out to be eighteen days, and in this case, n came out to be twelve six days. Let's take one more example. Ruhi travels. 300 km to her home partly by train and partly by bus she takes four hours if she travels 60 km by train and remaining by bus if she travels 100 km by train and remaining by bus she takes 10 minutes longer find the speed of train and bus so let's suppose this speed is vt vt velocity of train and this is vb velocity of bus total distance is 300 km Now, she takes four hour for this. It's a time actually, right? Time is nothing but distance by speed. Correct. She takes four hour. If she travels sixty kilometer by train, sixty by train, and remaining is three hundred minus sixty to forty by bus. The total time is four hours. If she travels hundred kilometer by train, this is hundred kilometer by train. The meaning is three hundred minus hundred, two hundred by bus. She'll take ten minutes longer. That is four plus ten by sixty hours. I covered everything in hours. So this is what we are told. Now, time is equal to distance by speed. In first case, distance is sixty, speed is v t. So sixty by v t. Plus here distance is two forty and speed is vb. This is four hour equation number one. In second case, train distance is hundred hundred by vt plus two hundred by vb. This is nothing four ten by sixty that is four one by six. This comes out to be twenty five by six. Six into four twenty four plus one twenty five by six. These are the two equations we have got. Now this is not a linear equation. We convert into linear equation. How to do that? I'll say one by v t is equal to a, and one by v b is equal to b. We have done this, so I'll write this equation as sixty a plus two forty b is equal to four, and this equation as Hundred a plus two hundred b is equal to twenty five by six. 
6 I'll multiply here. So this becomes 6 into 100, 600. 6 into 12, 1200. So these are the two equations we have got. Now in this equation, if you multiply by 10, A, A will be common. You cancel. Right? So I'll multiply by 10. So this becomes, I'll multiply this by 10. That's okay. So what I'll get, I'll eliminate the final equation here. 600A plus 2400B is equal to 40 and here 600A plus 1200B is equal to 25. Let's subtract this, this cancel. 2400 minus 1200 is again 1200B is equal to 40 minus 25 is 50. Correct? So I'll get B is equal to 15 by 1200. To solve this, this becomes 1 by 80. We put the value of B in this equation, A equation get the value of A. So let's put in this equation 60A plus 240 into B, that is 240 by 80 is equal to 4. A into 3 is 24. So what I'll get? A is nothing but 4 minus 3 is 1 by 60. So I've got A is equal to 1 by 60 and B is equal to 1 by 80. This I have. Now A is nothing but 1 by Vt. We have assumed this here. If you see, this is equal to 1 by 60. So we can see that Vt is nothing but 60 kilometer per hour. Similarly, B is nothing but 1 by Vr. That is nothing but 1 by 80. So we can say that Vr is equal to 80 kilometer per hour, right? So that is our answer. We have got the velocity of train and we have got the velocity of bus. This is bus actually. So what we have done here? We know the distance 60 to 40 and we know the speed Vt and Vb. We use the formula distance by speed is equal to time. We have added both time to get 4. In this case, we have added the journey time of train and bus to get 25 by 6. We converted this to a linear equation by put by assuming 1 by t is equal to a and 1 by b, b is equal to b. We got this equation, we solved it, we got the value of a and b and then we know a is equal to 1 by bt that is 1 by 60 so we got bt is equal to 60 and b is equal to 1 by vb that is 1 by 80 so vb is equal to 80 km per hour. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.